Now, I want to give you some terminology and talk a little bit about the actual math here and give you the terminology to refer to this in, in correct mathematical terminology. We said that in one dimension, the state vector is just a vector x. That is to say, is a single number x. And that x, we said, was just a number, or as it's called in math, a real number. Now, what are the real numbers? The real numbers are every number you can think of. So certainly the integers are real numbers. Fractions, like 3 fifths, are also real numbers. Algebraic numbers, like the square root of 2, are also real numbers. Transcendental numbers, like pi, are also real numbers. In fact, everything you can think of is a real number. And the idea, and this is so deep in our consciousness that, that, that we're, it's kind of burned into us, is that real numbers are exactly equivalent to points on the geometric one-dimensional line. So the point pi, which is 3.1 whatever, is equal to a point on that real number line. And the point minus pi, or minus pi over 2, is equal to another point on that real number line. And so the infinite line, infinite in both directions, is the geometric picture of the real numbers. Then we talked about two vectors, x, y. And we talked about how they represent a two-dimensional space. But this geometric construction is itself very interesting. The symbol for the real numbers, and you will be seeing this a lot, <laughs> the symbol for the real numbers is this. It's an R with that funny double vertical part. This is how you write the real numbers in math. So if the real numbers represent one dimension, what represents two dimensions? Well, you have to have an x from R, and you have to have a y from R. And the set of all such pairs, x, y, with x in R and y in R, has a name. It's called R cross R or r squared or r2. A lot of most mathematicians, in fact, refer to this as r2. So r2 is just, and this is a definition, r2 is just the set of all pairs x, y, where x is in r and y is in r. The name for this, this was all the work of Descartes. Descartes. This was all the work of Descartes, and so this product, r2, is called the Cartesian product of R and R. Now that we have that, it's of course very easy and natural now to talk about R3. And R3 is of course R cross R cross R, which is the set of all triples, x, y, z, where x is an r, and y is an r, and z is an r. And this is called the Cartesian product of three copies of r. 
Now, Descartes also did something else very, very important. And he was the first person to really do this. He was the person who said that the space R cross R of real numbers, x, y, is identical to the two-dimensional geometric space, x, y. And a point x0, y0 becomes a point in x, y space. He was the guy who put the algebra and the geometry completely together and made it interchangeable and made it possible for us to do this. But then there's one other mathematical idea which is so important that we have to give a shout out <laughs> to the guy. And the guy is Riemann. And the year is around 1850. And he said, and he realized a mind-blowing thing. He said, physical space, three-dimensional physical space, is merely one example of a triply extended quantity. And with that phrase, he introduces the notion of an abstract three-dimensional space. That is the thing that we have been implicitly using all along. I keep talking about shark tuna space or shark tuna plankton space. Every time we talk about a space whose axes are not longitude and latitude on the Earth, then we are talking about one of these Riemannian spaces, an abstract space of a doubly extended quantity or a triply extended quantity. The whole idea of abstract in-dimensional space is due to Riemann, and we are using it very heavily. Cut. By the way, why do they call them real numbers? Are there examples of unreal numbers? Well, colloquially, yes, but no. In math, when we talk about the real numbers and the real number line, we mean to use the word real to distinguish those numbers from another kind of number called complex numbers. And complex numbers, you recall from high school, take the form a plus b i, where i is the square root of minus 1. And those numbers are complex numbers, and they are opposed to real numbers. But that's what the word real means there.